Pilates Show Monday, outside the Pilates studio, where we bring our Pilates brain and body into the outside world. I'm your host, Jennifer Gianni, and today we're talking about balancing the hand, wrist, and forearm. Again, we're using one of our favorite props, the spiky ball. So it's just a really easy tool to use. You know, you have that, that minute break at work or you're at home and right before you start fixing dinner or whatever, just grab your spiky ball. If you've been working a lot with your hands and your arms, either you've had a stressful day and you've really been gripping the steering wheel or you've been at the computer, this is such a great little quick thing to do. So it sounds strange, but you're gonna start by rolling out the top of your hand. And I suggest, this table's a little bit low, but I suggest supporting the elbow, forearm, palm, and fingers. Spread your fingers so that those spikies can kind of get in between into that you know, center portion of your fingers and your thumbs and roll out the top of your hand. We don't ever think about doing this, but it can make a big difference. And you can be your first person expert and really feel how much pressure you should be putting on this area of your hands. You probably will feel like you can put a little bit more pressure into the fingers and into the thumb than you can at the, the back of your hand. And then go into the wrist. Explore the top of the wrist. And then, oh, really good, explore the forearm. So trying to create some lubrication between those lower arm bones and that interosteous membrane that connects your ulna and your radius. And as you get up to the elbow, you might really feel some tender spots. And you don't have to spend a long time, one minute, two minutes exploring this area. And then after you finish with one arm and hand, just compare the difference, it's big. Thanks for joining us, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or on our forum.